welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we would be designing the two stage rc coupled amplifier using the kicat tool we will try to analyze the transient analysis for more such videos request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below now double click on the schematic file now the schematic window appears click on add symbol and we have to select bc107 transistor which will be used for the rc coupled amplifier design so place this particular transistor on the schematic window we also require the second bc107 transistor so select this particular transistor and place it on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to select the various components such as resistor and capacitor so click on the schematic window and now type p spice and select the resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window now again click on the schematic and place the second resistor on the schematic window next we have to place another two resistor on the schematic window so place this particular resistor as shown in this particular tutorial Now click on the schematic window and place the fifth resistor as shown in the schematic window. In order to rotate, use the R button on the keyboard. Now we require a capacitor value. So in the filter, type piece wise and select the capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial. And in order to rotate this capacitor use the r button of the keyboard and place this particular capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial next also place the capacitor across the transistor and the resistor as shown in this particular tutorial now we also place the third capacitor for this particular design next right click on the resistor click on properties define the reference as r1 and define the value as 33 kilo ohm right click on the resistor click on properties define the reference as r2 and define the value as 4.7 kilo ohm and click ok now right click on the third resistor click on properties define the reference as r3 and define the value as 3.3 kilo ohm now right click on the fourth resistor click on properties define the reference as r4 and define the value as 470 ohm and click ok right click on the fifth resistor click on properties and define the reference as r5 and define the value of resistor as 3.3 kilo ohm and click ok right click on the capacitor click on property define the reference as c1 and define the value as 10 microfarad right click on the second capacitor click on properties define the reference as c2 and define the value as 10 microfarad and click ok now right click on the last capacitor define the reference as c3 
Now let us wire this particular circuit. So click on wire, connect the R5 resistor to C1 capacitor and R1 resistor to a C1 capacitor. Now connect the R2 resistor to C1 and R1 and connect the R1 to R3 and from R3 resistor to the transistor terminal 3 and from terminal 1 to R4 resistor and from R2 resistor to R4 resistor and connect the capacitor C3 to R4 and the other end to the transistor. Now connect the capacitor C2 between R3 and the transistor. Now connect the terminal 2 of transistor to terminal 2 of C1 capacitor. Now we have to place a voltage source for this particular circuit. So click on add a global label and okay before that uh, we will place the voltage source so click on add symbol and type P spice now select the V source and click OK and place this particular voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on the schematic and we have to place the second voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on add power port and type ground and place this ground connection across the both voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to define the voltage source value before that connect the resistor R5 to the voltage source and the other end of the voltage source to ground. Now connect the voltage source terminal 2 to ground. Now click on global label and type the label name as VCC. Place this particular label on the schematic window. Now similarly place the global label VCC across the circuit. Connect this global label to terminal 1 of voltage source and the other global label VCC to the resistor R1 and R3. Now we have to define the voltage source. So define this reference as VCC and define the value as 0. Next define the DC voltage as 12 volts and click OK. Now right click on the second voltage source, click on property and define the reference as V in, define the value as 0, click on spice model and next select the transient analysis and select the sinusoidal, define the DC offset as 0, define the amplitude as 1 millivolt and define the frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. So now we have completed with the first stage of the amplifier. Now we are, have to focus on the second stage. So we have to place the resistor. So place the resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to place the other components such as resistor and capacitor. So place the four resistor in this particular circuit as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to place the capacitor for this particular circuit. So select the capacitor and place this particular 
capacitor on the schematic window. Next, place the second capacitor on this particular circuit as shown in this particular tutorial. In order to rotate, use the R button on the keyboard. Now we have to provide the value for the resistor and capacitor. So now right click, click on properties and define the reference as R6 and define the resistance value as 1.1 kilo ohm and click OK. Similarly, right click on the resistor, define the reference as R7 and define the value as 33 kilo ohm. Now right click on the resistor, define the reference as R8 and define the value as 4.7 kilo ohm. So define the same resistor value which is 3.3 .3 kilo ohm and 470 kilo ohm which we did for the first stage of the amplifier circuit. Now right click on the capacitor and define the reference as C4 and define the value as 10 microfarad and click OK. Right click on the capacitor, click on properties, define the reference as C5 and define the value as 100 microfarad. Now click on wire and connect the capacitor C2 to the other end of the terminal 2 of the transistor and connect the resistor R7 to resistor R9 and from resistor R9 it is connected to the terminal 3 of the transistor. The terminal 1 of transistor is connected to R10 and from R10 it is connected to R8. The other end of R8 is connected to the terminal 2 of the transistor and the resistor R7 is also connected to the terminal 2. Now connect the capacitor C4 to the terminal 3 of the transistor and the other end to resistor R6. Connect the resistor R10 to capacitor C5 and the other end of capacitor C5 to the terminal 1 and the resistor R10 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to define the appropriate models for this particular circuit. So right click on the transistor. Now as shown in this particular tutorial we have to define the appropriate model. So I have selected the VJT models and selected BC107 model. Click on alternate node sequence and we have to define the alternate node sequence as 3, 2, 1 and click OK. Similarly, we have to do for the second transistor, click on properties, define the reference as Q2, click on spice model, select the file and click on double click on models, select the BJT models, click open, select the BC107 transistor and define the alternate node sequence as 3, 2, 1 and click OK. Now we have to place the appropriate text to analyze the transient analysis. So click on place, click on add text and define dot tran 4 milli and 8 milliseconds and click OK. Now place this particular transient analysis on the schematic window. Now save this particular circuit and click on add wire connect this resistor R7 and R9 
to the voltage source VCC as shown in this particular tutorial. Now save this particular circuit and also we have to add a power port. We have to place the ground connection. So place the ground connection across the resistor R10 and also the ground connection across the resistor R4. Now save this particular circuit and click on tools and run this particular simulation. Now place the probe across the input of the circuit where you can see the sinusoidal waveform and also now place the probe across the output. Now you can see the transient analysis of the two stage RC coupled amplifier circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.